Hey, thanks for being here, everybody. Um, welcome to the Youth Perspective Podcast. I'm Jalen. I'm Joshana. And I am Josiah. We're here to talk about a very, a very important topic today. Um, a lot of people have been spitting questions. So we kind of all kind of just put it all together. And it's about self-love and self-care. You know, this is a very important thing when it comes down to mental health. A lot of people don't really realize it. It's important that you take time to just relax, do something that treat yourself, just like Parks and Rec. I know a lot of you guys love that. That's a big hit with my generation and a few others. Um, there's two characters that will be like, hey, it's that time of the month. It's time to treat yourself. Get out there, do something, go get shopping, get your coffee, get your food, and just have a day all about you. And you know what? That is actually a very good mindset. You know, we have to take care of ourselves. And you know what? Um, we're going to just jump right into this. You know what, Joe? What are some things that you love to do just to treat yourself? I love iced coffee. So um doesn't matter where it's from, Starbucks or Dunkin'. I just really enjoy all iced coffee. <laughs> um, I also really enjoy getting my nails done. Um, so I'll do that every month or every other month. Um, and I just really enjoy taking the time and treating myself doing those things. Jalen, what about you? Yeah, no, I can, that's fair. You know, nice Manny Petty never hurt. Um, and yeah, so I would say for me, um, ways I like to treat myself would be, I'm a real big advocate of meditation, um, of just mindfulness. So getting out in nature really helps me. Like I know over the summer last year, I was able to go kayaking. I was a lot of fun just being out on the water or, uh, you know, just so getting in nature, you know, just walking away from, uh, I guess the things inside of the house or inside of work or the office and just kind of letting go, just, you know, breathing. Um, and, you know, occasionally I would like to, uh, you know, get some sushi. You know, if I get paid, it's a pay week. It's like, all right, I've worked hard. I'll spend a little bit more on a meal than I usually would. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's good. It's a good way to go about it. You know, no complaints there. Uh, what about you, Joe? Or Josiah? Yeah. Um, I, yeah. You know what, Joe? I get that. You know, sometimes I like getting the, you know, a venti white chocolate mocha frappuccino from Starbucks, you know, it's just so freaking good. Uh, and Jalen, I also get that being in nature, you know, I love going out camping. I love getting away from civilization for the most part. It's just, it feels like you're back to the beginning, you know, it comes kind of weird, mm -hmm. but when you're out there just relaxing and you're just taking it on it all in, it's it, something peaceful about it you know it's just it's relaxing really mm -hmm. um and yeah um and like whenever i get paid i tip to go out and i get a nice fancy dinner you know i go out and get myself a good steak you know medium rare cut mm, typically sirloin i do not like t-bones um and then sometimes you know, i'll meet up with a couple of friends we'll go off and get a cigar hang out and just relax and chill sometimes it's adding a brand new Hawaiian shirt to the catalog. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, just sometimes it's just um, going out and hanging out with some of my buds. It's um, I'll go out and I'll, I do full contact media of combat. So mm -hmm. some of my pent up tension throughout the week, you know, sometimes I just need to blow off that steam in a healthy and controlled environment. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's what I do at least. And it's something that I love to do. And yet, you know what? I'm one of those type of guys. I can never get a Manny Patty. You will never find me in there. You know, I just, uh, I'm too self-conscious about that. I got some Hobbit feet over here. <laughs> no, that's fair. Well, look, if you want to go, uh, you know, do paintball sometime or check out the medieval combat sport, I'd be down to hang out. All right. I'll pick you up. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I think that's great. I think that's awesome. Um, definitely a good way of, uh, you know, just treating yourself. So um, just to add to that, though, I know sometimes personally, I'll find it kind of difficult to just find the time to or disconnect, you know, to, to focus on myself or to go inward, you know, um, like, do I really have 20 minutes free to sit down and meditate when there's, you know, a laundry list of things that need to get done? 
have you ever faced any challenges or like any barriers to self-care? For me, um, it's either challenging to find alone time or some days it's just challenging to be alone. So it's usually one of those two things that's a barrier that's are not a barrier, but challenging, you know, to try and get self-care time. I live around a lot of family right now and it's hard because people ask me to do things. Sometimes it's inconvenient, but I feel like I'm obligated to say yes, which is, you know, okay. I, you know, I love to help out when I can. Um, it's just hard sometimes because when I try to just take a day to me, I'll get a text, hey, want to do this or can you do this? Mm -hmm. You know, so that's challenging sometimes. Josiah, what about you? One of my biggest barriers, I guess, that I personally deal with, you know, yeah, it's, it's a long time, you know, like currently in my predicament, you know, because of COVID, I ended up back at home with my family. Um, in my house alone, there's my brother, his wife, and their son. And then there's my parents, and then there's me and my fiance. And, you know, that's three different families trying to coexist in a small house. Um, so it's not easy. And, you know, um, being alone, never an option. There was no such thing as being alone. So um, it's a barrier. And family is a big one, you know, in, in my book, because um, a lot of us devote a lot of time towards family. Because sometimes that's our coping mechanism. Sometimes that's, you know, what we do to get our minds off of some of our problems of the day. And yeah, um, like right next door, I have my sister, her husband, and her three kids. So regardless of where I go, I have family completely around me. And uh, some days I absolutely love it. Don't ever get me wrong. And other days I just want to strangle them. <laughs> I know that's completely inappropriate, but you know, it's a figure of speech. I'm just saying, but I learned, I learned a balance. I've learned to appreciate it, but I've also learned sometimes getting into the car, rolling down the windows, jamming, blasting that music, going down the road just to feel alive. It sounds kind of weird, but sometimes you need to, uh, just escape for a moment and um, yeah those are some barriers difficulties that I have had with it over this last year and for all of our viewers here thank you so much again for tuning into the Pure Perspective podcast and I want to hear about your guys's struggles some of your challenges about some of those barriers I want to hear some success stories I want to hear from you guys so does Jalen and so does Joe so please Tune into our webinar. Come back. We would love to meet you guys. And thank you again, really, so much for helping this become a thing. Thanks for listening. Thanks, guys.